Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna go over setting up notifications on your Synology NAS. All right, so the first step you wanna take is opening up the control panel. We're gonna to go to notification. And from here, the first tab is email. We will click enable email notifications. You can type in the recipient's address. So I'm just gonna type in techcoreduo at gmail.com. The subject prefix. You can make this whatever you want. I'm just gonna type in Synology uh, alerts. And then you can choose your provider. Gives you a list of providers here. We will choose Gmail. So I'm gonna go ahead and click login. It's gonna come in here. It's gonna ask for your email address and your password. Uh, so I'm gonna just go ahead and type that in. You don't have to add that part. And then the password. And there we go. So what you want to do is then click allow. And then click agree. And the setting has been applied. So you are now logged in. So you can go over to SMS if you want to do SMS notifications. There's also a push service here as well. If you want to use different uh, ways to notify you. But what we want to see now is advanced. So from here, you can expand everything here to view what notifications you receive. So if we go to, let's, let's just go ahead and open up all of them quickly. So system here on the bottom can also can tell you the IP address is blocked, your system updates, uh, can tell you the improper shutdown, it'll give you notifications for all of these. And if you don't want them, you just uncheck it. Pretty straightforward. Uh, there are some good ones here like with internal storage, your, capa <clears throat> your capacity here, it will tell you that um, if it's under 10% or if it's under 20%, it'll give you a warning. There are also some uh, critical status and failing statuses. This is really good to have. Uh, we have this on a few of our clients and we wanna make sure that their disks are running properly and there are no issues um, as of current. And if there are issues, we wanna jump on it as soon as possible. So uh, there are some other cool uh, items here as well. You get the external storage too if you have eSATA or a USB disk in there, um, as well as a user password ch password change. Let's say if uh, Mike were to change his password from the Synology, I would know about it. It would send, send me an email. And uh, that's pretty much it. So um, if you guys have any questions about this, let me know. Like and subscribe and enjoy your day.